Avis Avis ou délégation participante, la deuxième session commencera à 18h. Merci. The evening session will start at 6 o'clock. The last uh, bout of the afternoon session here in the Mohammed Fitch Sports Complex in Casablanca. Maxwell the boxer of uh, Ghana and uh, Daniel Shizia of uh, Kenya in the blue. Well, the blue corner boxer, Shizia, 33 years of age, local referee Hassan Mudrika, the referee of this uh, last bout in the afternoon session. And boxer of uh, Ghana in the red, uh, another World Series WSB boxer. 26 uh, years of age. But it's the experienced uh, Kenyan that many are favouring uh, here in Casablanca this afternoon. 33 years of age, 178 centimetres. Uh, Daniel Shisha in the blue. Kenyan inter services champion. And uh, the big story, of course, for Shisha is that he beat the big favourite, Changum of uh, Cameroon, a man who was ranked number one coming into this tournament in the quarter-finals. So, getting himself a bit of a reputation as a giant killer, is this uh, Daniel Shisha. 91 kilos, last heavyweight semi-final, last bout of uh, the afternoon. First of the three, three-minute rounds. And Ponsa. Target and scoring. But in fighting from both boxes, just watch the holding. And it's a slight problem with the head guard for Maxwell and Ponson. Stopped. Clock continues on at 1.30. Halfway through this first round. And another very impressive uh, right hand. Good uppercut as well. And another right hand from Shisha. And that's exactly... What surprised at Tengu. series of boxing, no head guards worn. It's a professional competition with the uh, individual championships 
of the World Series of Boxing to be contested at the Excel Arena in London on the 9th of June. Last major boxing match in uh, the United Kingdom before the Summer Games. Oh, there's a good right hand from Amponsa there. in that first round but it is the Kenyan Daniel Shisha who continues his uh, giant killing pathway opening up a three-point advantage over Maxwell and Ponsa of uh, Ghana and some impressive shots from the Kenyan as we said with the First heavyweight semi-final. The winner of this bout guarantees his qualification to the games. Only two spots available. The two boxers who make the final in the heavyweight division qualify for the London Olympics. So Maxwell and Ponsa really does need to get on with this. Otherwise his Olympic dream will be over. Good hook with the right hand from Amponsa in the first point scoring exchange of the second round. Slight sense of uh, urgency from the Ghanaian boxer in red. He's trailing by three after the first round. But again, Shija very close and very accurate with the infighting. Just getting a caution of the referee for holding, pulling the head down. But uh, Daniel Shisha of Kenya, he's happy and close, he's happy when they're sizing each other out at full reach. There he is again with that right hook. tactic again. Good combination of punches here from Aponsar. And Aponsar. He's looking the more weary of the two. He's putting a lot of effort into this second round. Just 10 seconds left on the clock. And 
there goes the bell for the end of the second round. Well, the Goner takes that second round by a four to three. A little more like it from Maxwell um, Amponsa, but going into the third and final round, the Kenyan Shisha still has the advantage by two points. Starts the combination going with the jab where they all, most of the best punches they have always come from. And the second right hand right on target. So, uh, three minutes left in the last bout of the afternoon Daniel. session here. And the Kenyan Daniel, uh, the Kenyan I should say, Daniel Shisha. 8-6. Raw three. Over the boxer in red, and Maxwell Aponsar from that corner. Aponsa needs to keep that momentum. And again, problems with the head guard for the second time of asking. Still wants to try and get the head guard put back into position. Standing killed by the referee. He's not been comfortable with it all night long. No matter how frustrating the head guard may be for the Ghanaian, he needs to get down to business. If he's to turn the table. 